Thank you for turning to page 121. Today we're going to take a look at a starship for uh, Clement Sector and Earth Sector. This is brought to us by Independence Games for Clement Sector 3rd Edition. I want to thank the folks at Independence Games for sending this book my way to take a look at. It's the Pleiades class light freighter. Love a good freighter. Why wouldn't you love a good freighter? There you go. This is a freighter that seems pretty standard and then you, you get into it a little bit and you realize that there's some pretty neat elements to it. Interestingly, I looked up Pleiades, I want to be sure to how to pronounce it, and uh, they are the Daughters of Atlas. My wife and I were watching a, a Jeopardy you know, that we had pre-recorded the other day, and they were talking about the Daughters of Atlas, and darned if I didn't get it. <laughs> I had forgotten what they, what, that they were called Pleiades. So there's the author, is Michael Johnson, and we got our nice table of contents with some beautiful artwork And then we get the Pleiades class light freighter, and this is the overview. It's 300 ton displacement. Its thrust is 2G. It does mount a Zim drive, and it has 300 uh, or 136 tons of cargo to be carried. And it does it in cargo modules, which is pretty neat. And the developmental background for it: the need for a small, relatively inexpensive, reliable freighter. And we ended up with the Pleiades. Nice looking artwork there. I love that concept. And then uh, talking about how these were started out in Earth Sector and uh, went to Clement Sector. In Earth Sector, after the conduit collapse, they continued to be sold. And from this perspective, we're assuming they're still being sold in Clement Sector. And then we have the Dust Mode. It's a class in-system hauler. So basically, it's the Pleiades but with the Zim drive removed and more cargo space put in. I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, as a, a cargo carrier, it does have armor. I've always thought they should have armor, not just against the occasional pirate attack, but just in general. Any kind of freighter or anything takes a bit of a beating, and uh, it's good to, to go ahead and have this, have a little bit of armor. And there we have the ship size comparison between the Atlas, Pleiades, the Rucker, the Copeland, and the Opportunity class. The Atlas, I think, is neat. That the Pleiades is smaller and the same design as an Atlas because the Pleiades the daughters of Atlas. I thought that was pretty neat. And then we have the engineering section, the command section. Love the artwork. I love a good depiction of a command section. That's so much of the any 2 dice 6 space game. Really nice artwork. It has defensive armament, uh, beam laser, single turret, and two empty hardpoints. With fire control installed, so if you want to upgrade your weaponry, you can, depending on where you're operating. Crew and accommodations. Other internal components, like the ship's locker. I love a good ship's locker. I think it's important that a ship's locker be called out in a ship book like this. Ship's locker is, of course, the stuff the captain keeps, the under lock and key, for whatever reason. In this case, it's mostly weapons to repel borders or to defend the ship in some other manner. And then we have the Series 2 which has some customizable space in case you do want to carry passengers, even though you really don't recommend it. Uh, and then variants are in service. Uh, talks about the variants that have been made with this from this very basic design. And we have the Pleiades, the Dust Moat, which is the in-system one. I love that name, by the way. The Pleiades 2 and the Dust Moat 2. And they're all of, of recent vintage. The uh, twos are of more recent vintage. Some fine artwork depicting it. I love these. These give you such a good idea of what the ship looks like and does. And then the Pleiades class series at tech level 11. We get all the breakdowns. All the design features. How they made it. That's very nice. Pleiades class light freighter. And we see these outports here. These are cargo, cargo pods. You can either... Leave them attached and offload them, or you can detach them. It depends on, on what's going on, what you're carrying, who you're carrying it for. I just really like, I love a good top-down deck plan. These are so beautiful. I believe Ian Stead is one of the artists. Yes, he is. Uh, Michael Johnson also. So the author is one of the artists, and Michael and Ian Stead also did the cover and some of the in interior stuff. So, never going to go wrong with that. So, we have the Dust Moat class 
one series series one and then in system hauler the dust mode i love the idea of just ripping out the the zim drive and making this thing an in system hauler and some of these have been in service for over a century which is also really cool and then the class two uh the pleiades two class light freighter and the changes made there the dust moat design data i like that dust moat top down view of the dust moat two class and then the last depiction there the legalese and the back of the book this is a really really useful ship for any two die six space game you always need freighters whether your crew is piloting that the ship or they are just encountering it in some way or it's just something in port it's a, an important thing for you as the gm to introduce this to make your world seem more alive and more vibrant that's why i love starship books like this because they give you an opportunity to breathe more life into your uh, scenario than you might get otherwise if you just had various pictures of it here you get the nuts and bolts of it literally and you can uh, really see what it was intended to be used for. So this is, was a quick look at the Pleiades Class Light Freighter from Independence Games for Clement Sector 3rd Edition. Again, thank you, Independence Games, for sending this book my way for me to take a look at. I love it. Uh, let me know what you think. Have you used any kind of freighter book like this in your campaign? Are they useful? I think they are. Uh, but leave comments below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Tell your friends. Also take a look at the Patreon. Help me out there if you can. And that's all I've got for today on page 121. I want to thank you for your time, and I'll see you next time.